Hi, I'm Jason and I work at Dell Technologies. Today we're going to show you how to create and manage virtual machines with Hyper-V. This is a very basic video introduction on how to do this. Open up Hyper-V Manager and we'll go through on how to create a VM. Under Actions, select New Virtual Machine. The new virtual machine wizard will start. Hit next, type in a new virtual machine name. In this case, we we'll type in test. We can also select a different location if we need to. Hit next, choose the generation of this VM. Select generation two. Generation one is for any operating systems that are might be older. Hit next, type in the desired startup memory. In this case, we will select two gig. We can also select use dynamic memory for this VM, which Hyper-V will decide on how much memory will be assigned to the VM. Hit next, select the desired network. Hit next. Here we'll be able to choose the options to create a new virtual disk or use an existing virtual disk or attach a virtual disk later. We can also select the desired size of the virtual disk. In this case, we'll type in 40 gigabytes. Hit next. Here we have the option to choose to install the operating system later or we can choose an ISO. Select browse and locate the ISO and open. Hit next. The last will be a summary screen of what you've just created. Hit finish. So now we've created a new virtual machine, it'll be listed under virtual machines. Next, I'll show you how to start a VM, how to stop a VM, pause, restart, etc. So right click on the virtual machine and click connect. This will open up the virtual console for that VM. Under actions, we can start a VM which will start the actual VM. We can shut down the VM, which will actually shut down the VM. We can reset the VM, which will reboot the VM. We can pause the VM, which will pause the actual VM in a state it's currently in and save the VM. So let's start the VM. Okay, now we can shut down the VM. So the power off is like powering, is actually powering off the VM. If we perform a shutdown, that will be equivalent to a graceful shutdown. We can reset the VM, which would just do a power cycle of the VM. We can also pause the VM and resume the VM. We can turn off the VM. There are also options to perform snapshots. We can also 
edit the current VM by going to File Settings. So just say you've created the VM and you want to make a change to the VM, for example, the memory or the amount of processes that the VM is currently consuming, was configured for, the virtual disk itself, and where it's located. The network configuration, the VM name, checkpoints or the actual snapshots, paging location, and other options. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed and we're able to learn a little bit how to create a new virtual machine and how to start and stop and manage the VM. Thank you.